Welcome back to Fabric. We're in the lock and key level, learning about locks and keys. So let's let's learn about locks and keys. Let's just get straight into it and continue where we left off. And I almost just walked off the edge. What is what is this? Does it have anything to do with? Oh, God. Yeah, the momentum thing is a bit weird. I always like uh, it feels like you should have some momentum after you let go of the button, but I guess this is fine. So this is a key? Oh, I see! This is the exit, and you have to hit, like, what's locked is not just random doors in the level, what's locked is the exit, and you have to find the key, and maybe, like, left-click it, I guess. Yeah, you can't just walk on it. Left-click. And then you can't unbend it or anything, but that unlocks the exit, and then you can just leave. Okay, all right. Wonder if there's going to be more than just the uh, the exit. Log entry number 10. Looking around, I was confused. Trying to comprehend where I was, where to go. Okay. And yeah, I didn't quite pick up on the fact that every single line has been, like, directly related to the level following it. But I don't know what this means, just like, this is a confusing level where you might not know where to go. But there's only one thing we can do at the start here, and that's link this up. Ah, and there was the, the key that we need to hit. Oh, can wait, hold on. So if I just jump around here... Ah, yeah, the key is here, but you, you have to be in, like, melee range, or closer, at least, to do anything with it. Oh, and we can break down the wall, okay. Just like that, and now we can get up to the key. I see. Alright, that's, that's sneaky. Wait, so, is there any reason for me not to have this linked up? Like, does it hurt anything? I don't think so. Yeah, then we just do that and then unlink and then here we go. And yeah, they do unbend in a sequence depending on the order that you link them in or bend them in. Eleven. Then I understood how incapable human mind is. Perceiving space as a constant entity, and how this could be exploited. Did, did I? Did I understand? Oh! Oh god! Well, there were some frame drops. And the rainbow block is gone. Hold on, can I... Can I, like, jump into the rainbow block at the start? No, it's gone. Damn! Maybe that was, like, my one chance. Or maybe they just appear randomly, and that was just a coincidence that it was right next to me. It looked very special. I just wanted to wait a bit before I jumped on it, but couldn't do that. Hmm. I feel like I missed something right now. Can I, maybe if I go back to the main menu? Let's just try that. And then we hit level select. Um. Oh, I'm right here? Wait. Oh, so I was in like an intermission kind of thing. So this is the last level of this sector, and I was finishing up the sector. I see. Wow, seems like there's quite a few levels. What was that, like 50 levels or something? I'll just do this one quick again. I just really want to see if the rainbow block is back or comes back. There we go.
Come on, Rainbow Block. It's not here. So either that was something like once in a lifetime, and if you miss it, then fuck you. Or it was actually nothing and just a random thing that appears. God, I, I will never know, and it will bother me forever. Log entry number 12. And that the journey was just about to begin. Great. New sector. Let's do it. So, is it gonna be just like more of the same, or are we gonna get some crazy new mechanics in sector 2? And so on. I see. So we link this up so we can jump up right here. And then we unlink it. Actually, that doesn't seem to matter. Oh, I see. Wait, so I need to do that ahead of time. I think so. Oh, can I just walk into the exit? Oh, no need to unbend. Though I can. Yeah. Doesn't make a difference. Thirteen. That was where I found the log file. The initial mystery that attends every journey is... How did the traveler reach his starting point in the first place? Okay. Should have been a colon there, but whatever. Okay. Green block up there. Don't know what that means. Wait, what did I just see? Did I not just see... Maybe that was the background. I thought I saw one of these, like... Showing where you can link up stuff. So I can't really get up here, but I can if I use this thing. Yeah, I think that's what I'm doing. Um... This is odd. Can't I just, like... Yeah, I can just jump in here and then get to the end. But the green block has to be something. I have to get to the green block. I can't just not... Oh, damn it. I actually didn't mean to fall down. I can't just not get to the green block. Well, now the level is all squished up. Hmm... Aha! Huh? I just click it and it says an F in the bottom right. Is it like a bingo thing? I have to find F-A-B-R-I-C? Something like that? Shouldn't that like... I don't even know. Well, guess I did it! Huh. I hope I did that right. Log entry number 14. I should have been asking the right questions. Such as, now he's the colon, what environment do I need? Okay. What environment do I need? Press- oh! Right! Press M to open map! I forgot about that! Ooh. Oh! There I am! This is a cool map system! Press right click to reset the map. Huh. That's actually really neat. Yeah, and then you can see, ah, we can link up this and this all the way over here. But we have to stand in here 
when we do it. So I'm assuming we link up this one and this one, which deletes the wall. Ah, uh, not quite. I'm just gonna, we'll, we'll experiment. So I do that. And then hit this again. Yeah, that doesn't help me. And what if I... Yeah, that doesn't do much either. There's some, like, delay on the, the thing. You can't really unbend and bend really quickly. You kind of have to wait for it all to... Ah, I see. Yeah, this isn't bad at all. You just walk all the way over here. Click this. And I would just walk around and hit it behind instead. Oh, but we want to unlink. Oh. I see. Okay, I get it. So what we do is we have these two bent. Click this one. Get over here. Unbend. Then we still do not have that active. Damn. Well, I can still do it. Okay, so do I want to link up this one or this one? I'm assuming the second one. Let's try it. Yeah, like that. Okay. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Log entry number 15. Scenery was marvelous, but the bewilderment was not letting go of me. Can't say I'm feeling particularly bewildered, but whatever you say. Can I just go down? Further down? Oh, well, that that's not a jump I can make. Doesn't look like there was anything over there. Ah, I see. Key block. Oh, sorry. Am I supposed to be here? Um, oh, oh, I didn't even see that. Oh, damn it, didn't mean to do that. Huh, well, I'm kind of fucked over here. Right? I think I'm pretty fucked. Oh, wait, maybe not. Maybe not, let's see. No, I am pretty fucked. Unless I can, like, do a crazy... Nope, the, the wall just comes back. Alright, try again. Guess there are quite a few spots like that where you just can't get out of them and you have to just restart. Okay, well, this isn't too bad. So, like that. Then unbend. Then go over to the left. Hit the key. But then... Hmm... Ah! Didn't even need to unbend, did I? Do I need to unbend? Let's see. Oh. Nope! I do not! I can have the entire level! Completely bent. Oh, that's not the one. There we go. Everything is bent. But now the exit is gone.
16. Think outside of the box, went the ancient proverb. Instead, I had to think the box itself. Oh, how profound. Here's another one of these. This one I can't do anything with. I guess it's not green. I see. Ah, but I... Oh, I can do that. Okay, I didn't think I could. Ah. And now I just go back? Yeah. Ah, that was the exit. I didn't even realize. Well, that was a simple level. 17. The log went on. Old Terra, where this all originated. Though it is no more than a corrupted piece of... A memory. Its wisdom still lingers in this broken piece of reality. How poetic. So this is the future, I assume? Or something like that? So we can link up these, and we don't count as being inside of the thing, because it's like on the same level. Or like, it's one block above where we're standing. But now, we can't do that. And I can't get up high enough. So... Oh, but I can drop down here! Yeah, and again, stand on like one level below it. And that's fine, and that's the level. Wow, very simple. 18. The path before me was not always the correct one. Okay. So, like, the most obvious thing is not... what you want to do? Is that what they mean? Well, I think I got to the, the key. Yep, right here. Aha! And I kept them linked up. So now I stand here and unlink. Oh, well... What the hell? This is so simple. Achievements! Fabric 2 Tester. What does that mean? Finish a level with less bends than the dev anticipated. Really? So that wasn't intentional? What, what did I just do? I, I felt like that was pretty... pretty simple. Decisions were growing difficult to make. Brute force was not... was not correct way of making progress. Oh boy. Got some... got some weird grammar. Whoops. So I can't do that. But I could if I jump down. So wait. That. And this. And now I'm too high up. Yeah. Oh, there's a green block there. I see, so I need to like, get there. Yeah, I need to try and get all the way up. Can I jump this? I don't think so. Nope. The most annoying part is that it takes quite a long time to respawn. If it was just like an instant thing, that would be nice. Also, if you could like hit R to just teleport back to the start of the level or something. Oh my god, yeah, the aerial mobility is weird. It feels very unintuitive. 
Like, I can definitely make this, this jump, but for some reason, because I was, like, strafing? Yeah, yeah, there's something about that. If you strafe and jump, you go nowhere. Yeah, definitely. It, it's, like, such a short jump compared to uh, the normal jump. Well, guess I should keep that in mind. Hmm. Oh, God damn it. Huh. What do we do here? So we're trying to get up. So we need to be, like, here. Hmm. We can do that if we just go... Oh, but no, we can't. Okay, so we need to link these up to begin with. Because if we just link up this and this while standing here, we would be in between it. Oh, but this still doesn't work. Okay, so we need to jump down here. Yeah, that works. Oh, damn it. No, 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 no. Ah, I hate that you can't, like, cancel. You can't target something and then cancel it. You have to, like, click something else and then wait for it to be done. There we go. And uploaded my stuff to the fabric cloud. I don't know what that's about. And then I think... The goal was, like, over this way? Yeah, right there. Um... Oh, shit. God damn it, I hate that. And apparently you can't link while jumping. Don't understand why you wouldn't be able to. There we go. That was actually kind of confusing and complicated. Twenty! Visual patterns were suggesting the sentience behind. I was not first to tread these realms. What? The sentience behind. Behind what? Yep, the uh, English is falling apart a little bit. Unless that's meant to be very poetic and like... I don't even know. But I think I will end here. Another green block. For today. Hope you enjoyed the episode. And we'll continue with a mind-bending, block-bending, bend-bending, puzzling next time. Thanks for watching. I'll see you then. Bye-bye.